50 people. We got anybody here from a small town? A thousand people or less small town. 750 people less a small town. Yep. Y'all pay attention. Those people right there from the same small town as me, and they probably dated their cousin before, just like I did. It happens. It got to the point I had to stop dating black girls in the state of Delaware. I was like, yeah, I'm done with that. Next thing you know, my son was like, Daddy, so is my mom my aunt cousin or my mommy cousin? Yeah, I don't know, son. Guess we should move to Georgia to be normal. So, growing up, my daddy played a lot of slow pitch softball. And he listened to nothing but country music. And my, my mom listened to nothing but Christian music. So, I grew up in church. Used to go to church a lot. Still do when I can. If I can remember what day of the week it falls on, I'll be there. But uh, for a while, we just had the pastor's wife. She just played the piano and... We sung, hymn, we sung hymns all the time, so I spent a lot of time in church at nine years old like this. Just sleep. So I got older, said, you know what, we need to change things up a little bit. I started playing the drums, and my cousin started playing the bass guitar. There's something about the bass, you know, and you hear it makes you want to move your hips from side to side. Nothing too crazy, but still enough to praise the Lord, Ohio. Can I get an amen? So I want to take this time to introduce y'all to my brother on bass guitar. Y'all make some noise for the one and only Mr. Tate Howe, y'all. Says, son, open up the glove compartment. Open up the glove compartment. Said, hand me that cassette tape. I hand him a cassette tape. Y'all know what a cassette tape is, right? Yeah, some of y'all looking at me like, what? Yeah, there's these things back in the day. He had a lot of, it was like Scott's tape wrapped up in it, and that's what played your music. Well, I handed my dad a cassette tape. He put it in a tape player, and he said, son, this is one of my favorite songs. It's by this man called Alabama. We got the Alabama fans out here tonight. Well, Alabama had this song as one of my dad's favorites. And it went a little like this. I'm in a hurry to get things done. Oh, I rush and rush because life's no fun. All I really got to do is live and die. But I'm in a hurry and don't know why. Y'all know that song? So we got some 90s country music fans out here tonight. Well, all right, boys. So me and my dad were hanging out on the porch. Could have been a year later, could have been six months, can't quite remember, but we were hanging out, having a good time, and my dad had about one, he had about 15 beers, but he was feeling real good. It was a good day in the state of Delaware that night. And he said, son, I'm going to play a song that I believe five years from now, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, will be a hit still in the country music family. So we're going to sing this song right here for y'all tonight in OH. And see if my daddy told the truth or not. If you know this song, I need you to sing this song as loud as you can. It goes a little bit like this. Sold to the lady in the second row. She's a, she's a nine, she's a... I'm about to kiss my... Doesn't matter what you're doing, where you're at, what time it is, or who's watching, you lose your mind, you know what I'm saying? So if I got to high school or middle school, I'm kind of dating myself, I'm a little older than some of y'all out here. And every time this song came on, this was my jam, I'd break out dancing just like this. So we got any Nelly fans out here tonight? y'all to help me sing it. It goes like this. I said, if you want to go take a ride with me. Hey! Well, all right. So, I got an older brother. And he said, little bro, the thing
thing about being a man, you need to understand when it comes to relationships, we're going to make a lot of mistakes. That's just what we do. We are pretty oblivious. We're pretty stupid. We could have a whole conversation and not understand a word you just said, but that's all right. So he said, what you need to do one day, bro, when you mess up real bad, you get home late at night, you light a candle or two, turn the lights real low, pull your lady real close to you, and you sing this song right here and everything will be all right. I'll make love to you like you want me to, and I'll hold you tight, baby. goes like this. Say the boys round here. Talking about, talking about, talking about. Say the boys round here. Sending up a prayer to the man upstairs. Backwards legit, don't take no. There's a piece of this song that's been popping in my head all day. My band don't even know what I'm about to sing. And they're probably like, what is he about to do right now? What is he about to do? But that's all right. We're all going to find out together. That's cool, right? So Jay-Z had this song. And everybody did this for a while when the song came on. Y'all know that song, right? So I'm going to sing a piece of it and see if y'all know. It goes like this. If you're feeling like a pimp, go on. All right, that's all I needed to hear. That's it. So y'all having a good time so far, right? Everybody put two hands up. 